The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. I am Bimbo Jimbo Kincaid, coming to you once again out of my home, the Casa de Bimbo, as we are all still in our shelter in place amid the coronavirus pandemic. And I certainly hope that I find you well, happy, and healthy today. And we have a very special program coming to you, because Championship Wrestling is cracking open their vault. And on today's program, not only is the vault open, but we are going all the way to China. That's right, two years ago, Championship Wrestling, with a very historic broadcast out of Wenzhou, China. That is what you have in store today, and that includes an epic main event between NWA World's Champion Nick Aldis and former two-time champion Colt Cabana. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. Watson Chamberlain have an opportunity to make history in more ways than one. This is an epic tag team battle we are about to see on virgin soil here in China. Announced to the ring by local Chinese ring announcer Xu Su Qi, setting the stage for this opening tag team title match. And Joe, look at this imposing duo, the challengers. Here you get a good look at Alexander Chamberlain, wrestles primarily in Florida. What a huge opportunity he has. And of course, his partner looming in the back, a former United tag team title holder. They are a long way from America's biggest little city. Reno Scum is ready for action. Putting the United Tag Team titles on the line. There you see First Luster along with Adam Thornstow. What I love about this, we are in when Joe China, the Reno Scum literally are bringing oi to the world, Joe. They certainly are spreading that message that was pretty much contagious throughout their entire journey here in China. Coming to Wenzhou, a lot of people just embracing this punk rock lifestyle that they have. And believe me, these guys look completely different than anything else or anybody else in this entire country. Not often that the tag team title holders give up the edge in power. That might be the case here. Oh, that remains to be seen. Lust of the Legend is a real powerhouse. Adam Thornstone might be a little bit smaller in the height department, but he is just all raw power, and he's got that low center of gravity. He's an incredible athlete. They have the mixture of the great tag teams in the history. If you think of the likes of the Horsemen, where you have more of a technical guy in, in, in Tully, and then you have Arn, the Enforcer. They, they have that mix of the, like the Heart Foundation. But Thornstow, a powerhouse in his own right, but across the ring, you see the size of the challengers. Watts, I was told, I talked to him before he got on the plane to make the trip, he wants to be known as the Great Watts of China. Has that opportunity right here at the Winjo Sports Arena. Thousands of spectators coming out for this awesome event. And it looks like it's going to be Eric Watts and, and perhaps Luster the Legend starting things off. There you see it, yep, bringing oi to the world, as I mentioned. Great atmosphere, you talked about it. Joe Galley, the multitudes here in Wenzhou, China. The atmosphere incredible, thousands in attendance, and we thank you for watching. First time the professional wrestling broadcast from China, airing in North America, bringing it to you, and we are about to get this thing rolling, Joe. I can't wait. This is gonna be great, looks like Eric Watts taking steps out onto the apron. It's gonna be Alex Chamberlain Chamberlain's cool, calm, and collected. I've, I've had an opportunity 
uh, to call Chamberlain's matches and various promotions over the years. He comes from Florida. He's well-versed. He's a great technical wrestler, but he's a real powerhouse as well. And he has got one hell of a lariat. He can dim your lights, put your lights out in a hurry. You might be looking at the new tag team champions right there. It's very possible. These are two absolutely premier athletes. We see great crowd in attendance. Bell sounds and we are set for action. But I think that they have a huge disadvantage between Alex Chamberlain and Eric Watts. Well, they, they certainly probably won't have the tag team continuity. You're right, Joe, right. because obviously the tag team champion is the Reno Scum, established tag team for many years, and they've wrestled all over the world. But Chamberlain and Watts on their own are very imposing, very dominant, and Watts, you can't ever count him out. He held the tag team titles, in essence, by himself on this program. Ty Matthews was kind of the de facto partner. Very true. But Eric Watts is a force of nature, and he knows when an opportunity is within his grasp, but he just needs to reach out and grab it right here. First collar and elbow tie up in the People's Republic of China. There you see some of that technical wrestling I was talking about, Joe. Chamberlain immediately going and working over the arm into the arm ringer. Chamberlain, he's, it's like he's got ice water running through his veins and the Reno Scum, notorious quick starters. Oh, so looking for a quick finish there was Thornstow right into the cover. These guys don't get paid by the hour, no matter how long the flight was to get there. Thornstow's got this crowd all kinds of worked up. And Chamberlain, he just wants to nullify any of that early quick start by the tag team champs as Thornstow gets the crowd rallied again. Let's talk about the tag team champions, Joe. Won the titles by defeating Pac-3, who was a fixture in the tag team division in championship wrestling from Hollywood. Beat him in a rematch and then went on to take on top teams like the Classic Connection. That's true. And, you know, they haven't been champions for very long, but they have been a tag team for, I guess you could almost say forever, at least through their entire professional wrestling careers. But they've been dominant no matter where they go, and they knew that they could take that dominance to here to China. Little early shortcut there by Chamberlain went to the hair. Uh, kind of a big target when you think of the Reno scum as Thornstow now tries to battle his way out of this. Big shoulder tackle by Chamberlain, showing off that power, that size advantage. When you're in there with these big guys, just when you see a light at the end of the tunnel, might be a freight train coming your way. Big drop kick, nice elevation by Thornstow. So athletic, so agile, so quick on his feet. Thornstow, he can attack you from any angle. Oh, we've seen that before. A meeting of the minds, and Luster, the legend, gets in the matchup. And this is not where you want to be. Tag Team Wrestling 101, cutting off the ring, are the tag team champs. And bad news here for Chamberlain to be in the corner of the Reno Scum. Yeah, Luster the legend, taking liberties now. Half full Nelson locked in, it's applied. Got the full, full Nelson here. Might be thinking submission here early in the matchup, Joe, and they've got him in the wrong part of town. Tag made, here you see the continuity by the champs. Thornstow. Now in control, Snapmare Suplex, center of the ring. Oh, we've seen this before. Got him lined up. Standing moonsault could be it. It connects. One, two. That's it. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. We're living in exciting times in the world of professional wrestling. There are tons of opportunities to live your dreams as a professional wrestler, from the worldwide leaders to independent companies like APW. If you feel you have what it takes, the time to make a move is now. The APW Training Academy will help you develop the fundamentals of professional wrestling. The All Pro Wrestling Training Center is now open for enrollment. Contact us today. Clean up your lawn and garden the smart way with a DR Chipper Shredder. Reduce leaves, garden cutting, sticks and twigs, even big branches, to a fraction of their original volume. Call now or go online to lock in factory direct savings on the full line of DR Chipper Shredders. For a free buyer's guide, call 1-800-475-0828. Special pricing and free shipping are now in effect. Online at drchipper.com. Thornstow trying to divide and conquer. Not easy to do against these two absolute monsters. Thornstow gets his balance. Crossbody takes the big man down. 
And now perhaps one to Chamberlain on the outside. Yes, scores. Oh, man, Thornstow is a man on fire. What action outside the ring, inside the ring in Wenzhou, China. The crowd loving every second of it. And look at Thornstow off the top again, but he gets throttled by the monstrous Watts. Oh, what's Watts got in mind? Nice counter with the knee. Yeah, certainly was. Oh, but the, the boot caught by Chamberlain, stopping all the momentum. Here comes Thornstow. Oh, he got, oh, flapjacked right in the center of the ring. Absolutely pancaked him. And now Watts going for the cover, looking for the win. History perhaps to be made, but only a count of two. And Watts, his offense, oftentimes Joe Galley not pretty, but very effective. He is all too willing to grind out a victory and take home the tag team goal. Yeah, it doesn't need to look good as long as it's effective. And Watts with that powerful upper body, with that bear hug applied, putting all that pressure on the lower back. That's taken everything out of Thornstow. And look at Watts, back to a vertical base, but crashing down on Thornstow. Got to ask the question. I mean, Thornstow, an incredibly dynamic athlete. We saw him going off the top into the outside. But do you think this perhaps the strategy of Watson Chamberlain to isolate Thornstow, the smaller man of the two ta of the tag champs. It does appear to be the plan that they have going forward, and so far it's proving to be very effective. I'm so impressed with what we're seeing from Alex Chamberlain in this matchup. Right there, into the back body drop, but what a counter by oh, Thornstow! Hold on, sunset flip, and we're a long way from the sunset strip, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Kick out by Thornstow with the jabs now, exchanging blows, center of the ring. Thornstow up, oh no, got caught with the backbreaker! Boy, that was vicious. Into the cover now, looking to take home the tag team titles. And what do you think, Joe, a backbreaker like that will do to the high octane offense of Thornstow? Look, they're targeting an area. They're not just targeting Thornstow, but they're targeting that lower back of Thornstow. If they keep going after that target, I could see them being successful as Eric Watts gets back in the matchup. And I think they might, the challengers might make us eat our words there, Joe Galley, because now you see the continuity by Watts and Chamberlain making tags. The challengers are looking good. Right now, they're looking dominant, and it's not easy to throw the tag team champions around. Another big backbreaker into the cover. Does not hook the leg, but man, that was still close. That was very close, and Watts could feel that he was just a nanosecond away from becoming a two-time tag team champion. Luster on the outside. He is urging, he is pleading, he's trying to get the fans behind him. He needs Thornstow to get to that corner, but he is a long way from that salvation. Uh -oh. Look out here. We've seen this before, looking for the murder bomb. Thornstow able to escape. Oh, the roundhouse kick connects. Well, that's, a, that's a long way to go. Extra elevation, gets the elbow up, follows it up with another drop kick. He's got the big man rocking and reeling. He's heading towards the wrong corner, however, and he gets stopped in a big way there by Watts. Watts, oh my gosh, there it is. New tag team champs to be crowned into the cover. Oh, only a, a, a split second from having new tag team champs there, Joe Galley. That choke slam power bomb is devastating, and I've seen him win match after match with it. It just goes to show how tough Thornstone is. There was only a sliver of daylight between the referee's hand and the canvas, and now in comes Chamberlain more of this methodical pace. They are absolutely mugging Adam Thornstow. Luster, the legend, chomping at the bit. You see him pacing back and forth. He wants in this matchup in the worst way. Hate to fly all the way to the People's Republic of China just to lose your titles. Speaking of flying, how about that flying knee? Caught him square on the jaw, and here comes the big man, and the mood's gonna change in this one. 100% here's Luster, and he is coming unglued. Right after Eric Watts with the drop kick. Incredible, this big man, he gets that body moving. Oh, don't tell me, suicide dive to the outside like an absolute dart. Totally collapsing all of his weight on Watts. A devastating dive to the outside, and now it's just Chamberlain and Luster. Getting the crowd going here in Wenzhou, China. The tag team champs have turned this thing around the pendulum of momentum. Swinging to the other side, and Luster's looking good, and he is making Chamberlain pay the price. Up on the shoulders, TKO! Got the leg, is it enough? No, Eric Watts forces the breakup. So dangerous when you got a big man like Watts, he doesn't have to go far, his body so tall, just a single small move can get him in there to make the save, and this thing breaking down in a hurry. 
looking more like a tornado match at this point. But how would you like to be the official to watch <laughs> to get out of there? I do not envy senior official Nick Bonanno in this match in the least. But as Luster, the legend, comes full head of steam, runs into the big boot by Watts. The one thing we haven't seen in this matchup thus far, Joe Galley, a big clothesline floors the big man, a giant killer is Luster, and the spine buster now by Chamberlain. We haven't seen any of the signature double teaming of the tag team champs. The challengers have taken that out of the playbook, cover now by Watts. New champs right there, oh, so close. You're right, they've done an excellent job of keeping them separate and stopping them from being able to use any of those tandem moves that they use so well. Frequent tags by Watson Chamberlain allows these two big men to stay fresh, even though we're getting into deep water now in this championship oh, match. Oh, Chamberlain just jumped to the outside, tried to save himself on the apron, but it just wasn't there. It's, oh, he's got him up on the shoulders. Watts looking for the DNR. Thornstow's there, saves Lester the legend. Heads up move there by Adam Thornstow, saved his partner in a big way because we've seen how devastating that do not resuscitate is. Now it's time perhaps for a little double team action from Reno Skunk. They must have heard what we were saying, the big double stop from Thornstow. Thornstow almost went all the way out of the roof of this place, upstairs with the super kip. Chamberlain absolutely crumbles. Oh, we've seen this before. This is how they won the tag team titles. Up top, Reno stomp to the back of the head. Hit that big scum stomp into the cover. Are the champs going to retain? Yes. Boy, they earned that one. What an amazing matchup we are seeing, and we are the just World getting Team things started here in Winzhou, China. Incredible atmosphere, history being made throughout this entire episode, but history not being made in the form of a title change as we take a look back at the action, Joe. Yeah, let's take a look at this replay. It is brought to you by Land Rover. I thought it was gonna be all over right here. Huge choke slam into the power bomb, but it just wasn't enough. Then let's fast forward, Luster the legend. That huge dive to the outside completely lays out Eric Watts, opening the door for some tandem offense into that scum stomp that we've seen them be so victorious with retaining their championships in the People's Republic of China. Incredible action, and we are just kicking things off from the Winjo Sports Complex, and in the end, Joe Galley, we talked about it, it all came down to teamwork, to the double team, and now the ceremony, the titles, to be handed back over to the champions. Yeah, you see David Marquez there with the uh, promoter, the local Chinese promoter, Li Ho Un, and also Wang Jun Yi, part of the Chinese Wrestling Commission there, congratulating Reno Scum on their victory. This is important news for people who have taken Zantac or its generic ranitidine and then suffered from cancer. Zantac and generic ranitidine have been linked to cancers such as bladder cancer and kidney cancer. According to the FDA, Zantac and ranitidine contain NDMA, a known cancer-causing agent. NDMA has been linked to cancers of the bladder, kidney, colon, esophagus, liver, ovaries, pancreas, and other cancers. If you or a loved one took Zantac or ranitidine and were then diagnosed with cancer, call the lawyers at Davis and Crump right now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call the lawyers at Davis and Crump right now if you or a loved one took Zantac or generic ranitidine and were then diagnosed with bladder cancer, kidney cancer, or any of these cancers. Call now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Our first consultation is free, and we don't get paid unless you get paid. Call Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. 
Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Welcome back to the action from Winzhou, China, the Winzhou Sports Arena. Women's division action continuing this epic, history-making episode of championship wrestling from Hollywood. Bill Sounds, time to see what the ladies can do. You've got Barbie Hayden in the black taking on the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. And we've seen both in action as of late. Last time we saw Barbie Hayden, a physical war with Shotzi Blackheart and Barbie Hayden took Shotzi to the limit, and that is not easy to do. 100%. Heather Monroe has been on a tirade throughout the entire United Wrestling Network. Wanted to prove that she is the most dominant women's wrestler. And look at that, pulling the hair and backing her all the way to the corner. Yeah, Heather Monroe has never met a shortcut that she didn't like and has said she's really had that elitist attitude, and you see it just brimming with confidence, saying, you can't wrestle here, you can't wrestle anywhere with me. But look at Barbie Hayden, fireman's carry. Right into the submission, wearing down Heather Monroe. Barbie Hayden is technically sound. She was the youngest competitor to ever win the NWA World's Women's title at the age of 23. Of course, again, just part of that incredible relationship we have with the National Wrestling Alliance, which we will see in a big way coming up in our main event as champion Nick Aldis defends against two-time former champion Colt Boom Boom Cabana as Hayden remains in control. I have to say, this must be an especially big treat for you, Todd Kennelly. You were there ringside when Colt Cabana won both of his NWA championship where he began his championship reign, so this must be incredible for you and for him. Yeah, absolutely. First back in March of 2011 and made history. The first man to ever win the title, NWA title in Los Angeles and would win it again as part of that seven levels of hate. Hayden now full head of steam and making Heather Monroe pay the price. I would think that Monroe would thrive here in China. She's obviously an avid cat lover and cats a, a symbol of luck and fortune in the People's Republic of China, traditionally. Well, let's see if she's going to have any luck in this matchup. She's got to take a little time out, getting a, trying to catch her breath here after that onslaught by Barbie Hayden. Hayden looking good, and you mentioned Cole Cabana, two-time champion. Uh, kind of bitter the way he left the NWA at, back in the day. That seventh match in the seven levels of hate, the NWA didn't sanction it as a title match, so he never had that third reign. Even though he defeated Scrap Iron Adam Pierce in Australia in a cage match, both men left the company in controversy after that. But now it's a whole new era in the NWA under the new ownership of Billy Corgan, and the legacy is back, and we will see it in our main event. But now Heather Monroe focusing the attack after sending Barbie Hayden spine first into the steel post. Going for the quick cover here, hooks the leg, only gets two. A real mean streak in the Killer Bay. I mean, living up to that moniker and a wide open shot there to a defenseless opponent in Barbie Hayden. I mean, what do you make of the attitude of Heather Monroe recently, Joe? Well, it's completely changed and it's also kind of changed for the, the benefit of her. She's been able to rack up wins and I have to say every punch, every kick that she's delivered as of late has just a little bit more emphasis with right there. On full display, the forearm to the face. She is proving to be one of the most dangerous strikers that we have perhaps throughout the entire United Wrestling Network, no matter what your gender is. No question about it. I mean, and, Bar and right now, Heather Monroe, she's got that full court press. She is just smothering Barbie Hayden. And Barbie Hayden is a powerhouse. She's a big, tough competitor. And, and right now, though, there is nothing she can do. She doesn't have an answer here for the Killer Bay springboard backsplash. Ooh, into the backbreaker. It's the other thing with Heather Monroe, lots of fluid movement. Everything comes one right after the other. Into the cover there. Only gets two. Heather Monroe really looking confident here, Joe. She's in total control. Just a minute ago, we saw that back handspring. So getting flashy with her offense in total control. But nice oh, reversal but into a pinning combination. Oh, so close to making history in the People's Republic of China. Both these wrestlers wrestled all over the world, but never here, never in Wenzhou. Yep, a whole lot of firsts here on this historic episode of Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Broadcast live from Wenzhou, China. And now Barbie Hayden finds herself 
in, out of the frying pan into the fire. She was in that body scissor, still is, but the strikes as well by Heather Monroe. Added pain, added punishment, but Hayden now attacking the shins, trying to get that separation. Oh, but look at that, what a veteran maneuver. Gets the shoulders down, but look at Monroe keeping the legs locked. Monroe very tenacious, holding on, now turns it round and round she goes where she stops. Only the killer Bay knows, just trying to scramble Barbie Hayden. I'm getting dizzy. Keep her guessing, now comes up with the pin attempt and gets the near fall. Innovative bit of offense there by Heather Monroe. Looking to daze and disorient Barbie Hayden. And capitalize right here. Heather Monroe's become even more dangerous. Is looking for a big scoop slam perhaps since she added that submission, that cat lady clutch. Gotta wonder if she's gonna try and soften up Hayden for it. Oh, Hayden comes flying through the air, takes down Monroe. Face right into the knee. Hayden's starting to build some momentum here. A great velocity into that knee strike. and might see it again here. Full head of steam. Nowhere to go but down for Monroe. Trapped in the corner. And look at this big head scissors. Oh, I really put in the squeeze. But you can't finish her here, though, Joe, because in the ropes. Referee making the count. Right move. Used as much of that count as she possibly could before spiking her skull into the canvas. Here comes Hayden with a basement drop kick to the midsection. Hooks the leg. Only gets two. Barbie Hayden showing all those credentials of why she was the youngest. NWA World Women's Champion in history. Job breaker, desperation move there by Heather Monroe, but very effective. Ooh, roundhouse kick, followed up with a forearm. Offense of Heather Monroe starts to look like a fireworks show into the cover and another close call there. And Hayden, for most of the match, has been fighting from underneath. She gets a, a little uh, light at the end of the tunnel, a little spurt of offense here or there, but it's really been Monroe that's been dominant here, Joe. Yeah, she's definitely been in the driver's seat looking for a suplex here. Hayden, using that low center of gravity, able to block. Getting some strikes in, gets the separation she's looking for. Great takedown defense, and tilt to whirl into a slam. Crowd loved that one. Deep hook of the leg, looking to put her away. No, only two. Showing some frustration there. She thought she had her. But she knows she's got to do just a little bit more. Bring in the pain, bring in that punishment. Joe Galley with so much on the line here. Such a high profile matchup. Both ladies really going deep into their playbook. Put on the brakes there, did Monroe. Yeah, by grabbing the tights. Always willing to bend the rules. Oh, there it is right there. The cat lady clutch. The cat lady clutch locked in. Hayden's in the middle. She's got nowhere to go. Oh, Hayden doesn't want to tap in such a huge match, but she has no choice. Heather Monroe has made history with a big victory here in Winjo, China. Let's take a look at this replay brought to you by Land Rover. Let's take it back to this Tilt-A-Whirl slam. It was almost enough, hooks the leg, one, two, but Heather Monroe would just kick out, keep this match going, stay dominant, and then into the Cat Lady Clutch. Digging down deep, stretching out that neck, and gets the victory by submission. Incredible, we talked about it. Well, the cat was good fortune here with the cat lady clutch. Gets it done. That was an incredible competitive, physical women's matchup and a hard earned victory there by Heather Monroe. If something happened to you, what would happen to them? Their home, their education, their future. You need life insurance. And chances are Select Quote can help you get it for less than a dollar a day. Select Quote found Jacob 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At Select Quote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. We found Gary 35, a $1 million policy for only $22 a month. Why pay more? Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Call 800-216-0389 or go to selectquote.com now and get the insurance your family needs. At a price you can afford. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. 
Over the last 12 years, you've helped my pillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got my pillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Championship time, Cole Cabana looking to become a three-time champion here in the People's Republic of China. Cole Boom Boom Cabana, a two-time NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, and he won both of those titles right here on this program, but certainly not in Wenzhou, China. You know, as you mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Todd Kenley, a little bit of controversy there. I'm sure Cole Cabana feels that he's already a three-time champion, but to actually cement that in his legacy here on this grand stage in China, I can't think of anything better for him. After defeating Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, Adam Pierce handed him the title. Cole Cabana stepped away from it at that time, a bad taste left in his mouth. But ironically, it's the reign of Aldis, it's the type of reign that Cabana envisioned for himself, traveling the globe, being an ambassador to the National Wrestling Alliance, defending the 10 pounds of gold. Now, he's got his shot to live that dream. Ultimate opportunity, and of course, Cole Boom Boom Cabana with the big smile as Nick Aldis makes his way to the ring. The national treasure, the reigning, defending NWA World's Heavyweight Champion since December 9th of last year. He has been on the Aldis Crusade, a crusade that started right here where we're calling this match in Hollywood as we're watching it live from China against James Ellsworth. Think of the other people that Aldis has gone on to defeat, the likes of David Starr in the UK, Crimson, Tommy Dreamer, and now he's got to take on a two-time champ. Things don't get any easier for the national treasure. The crusade has taken him to parts all over this world and now to this monumental matchup in China. The Wenzhou Sports Arena, Nick Aldis is feeling confident as he's going into the ring here against Colt Boom Boom Fan. And I have to think that Nick Aldis should feel confident. He is at the top of his game. Yeah, but he has had one heck of a schedule when you think of the competitive title defenses plus all the press, media, travel is perhaps the champ right, right for the picking or has that fueled the champ's fire? That's the question that might be answered here at this main event. On the flip side, it's been a while since Cabana He's been interested in other things. Been a while since he's been in such a high profile main event. Let's set the stage. Treasure looking to add a, another nation to the list of places where he has come and conquered and defended Sweet Charlotte. Nick Aldis, the national treasure, looking to become the international treasure, the global treasure. And there you see what it is all about. Sweet Charlotte, as you mentioned, the coveted 10 pounds of gold. Senior official Nick Bonanno going over the rules and regulations. Not only the rules of the NWA, but also of the Chinese Wrestling Commission, Wang Zhong Yi as well. <laughs> Cole Cabana looks relaxed, right in his element, right where we were used to seeing Boom Boom Cabana be. 
Cole Cabana always, to me, looks like, you know, a, you know, a kid on Christmas. He just has that big, even though he's Jewish, he's got that big smile on his face. He's got that youthful exuberance, and he has really had fun on this trip, but maybe too much fun because across from the ring, ice water in the veins of the champion, Aldis is all business. Yeah, but I don't know. I think that this could all play into the, the plans of Colt Cabana to try to take Nick Aldis off his guard, to try to make it seem like he's aloof, but he is 100% in this matchup. Bell sounds, and we are off and running. Neither man wants to make the pivotal first mistake in this one. Both men circling, taking their time. And to your point, Joe Galli, Aldis touched on that. He said that there's more to Cole Cabana, that there are layers to Cole Cabana, and Cole Cabana is an expert in marketing himself and his his empire that he's got going in terms of social media, podcasts, everything else. And I think Nick Aldis wants to bring out the competitor, the fire in Cabana. He wants to defeat Cabana at his best. He has an opportunity to do that right here. Cole Cabana showing that he's not gonna be rocked by the mind games of Nick Aldis. The Co feeling out process of the beginnings of this matchup. It's always so interesting when you got two competitors that haven't gone toe to toe before. Cabana is so good at chain wrestling. I mean, he, he will definitely keep you on your toes. And Cabana has made a lot of history on this program championship wrestling from Hollywood. Oh, are we going to get a clean break here? Indeed, we are. Good sportsmanship there early on. Cole Cabana competed in the first ever match in championship wrestling from Hollywood history at the Galaxy Theater against a very young Peter Avalon. And now in this historic title main event, Throughout the years of this program, Caban has always been at the forefront. Yeah, he's always been a heart and soul, a key member of the United Wrestling Network as Cole Cabana now using that chain wrestling skills. Look at that. Keeps the wrist lock going. Transitions to the hammer lock. Aldis trying to escape and does with the fireman's carry. Beautiful fundamental wrestling by champion and challenger as Aldis finds himself momentarily in that head scissors of Cabana. Cabana is so unorthodox as well, though. You really know. He, you, never, you never know what angle Cabana is going to attack from. Ooh, a quick one count. First pinfall attempt of the entire matchup as Cole Cabana able to get back to his feet. One thing's for certain. When Cabana does a reversal, he does it with style. <laughs> Look at that, Cole Cabana all smiles in the early goings of this matchup, but Nick Aldis also showing how relaxed and composed he can be. Yep, the champ not sweating it whatsoever. And both men showing that they can go on the ground. They've got strong ground game, and we'll see if the champion can get things going his way offensively. It's tough to get a quick start against Cabana, but the champ absolutely runs him over with the shoulder block. Now full head of steam. Oh, with the cartwheel, the champ looking on top. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. Health Markets compares your current plan with thousands of options nationwide from national insurance companies. With so many changes to health insurance plans, are you still sure you have the right fit? That's why I love Health Markets, your insurance marketplace. They guarantee you won't find a lower price anywhere for the plans they offer. Their new Fit Score instantly compares thousands of plans, both on the government exchange and off, to find the one that best fits your insurance needs. In minutes, you can find out if your current plan is the right fit, or if there's another one that can get you extra coverage or help save you money. Best of all, their service is completely free. You may even qualify for free health insurance with no monthly premiums. The Health Markets Fit Score makes it easy to find the right plan for you. For this free service, call right now. Your insurance marketplace, Health Markets. Call Health Markets today at 1 800 207 1241. That's 1 800 207 1241. Absolutely, and there's going to be no remorse, no repent by the champion Aldis. He is going to try and hold on to the 10 pounds of gold. 
no matter what, at any cost and by any means necessary, breaks the count and goes right back on the attack. Oh my goodness, oh, where going are we going? Up the ramp here. Are we gonna take a walk all the way to the Great Wall? All this, oh, could be looking to end things right on the outside, looking for a big suplex on the apron. Cabana, expert counter there, putting on the brakes. He's got on the magnetic boots and tries to transition to striking now to better his position here, Joe Galley. Oh, but there it is, the suplex by Cabana on that exposed floor. Giving Aldis a taste of his own medicine. It was Aldis that took him out there. He had suplex in mind, but the counter wrestling ability of the challenger, and that's what made him a two-time former champ. Oh, where's Colt Cabana going? Colt Cabana. Really feeding off the energy of the folks here. Full head of steam with a fist to the face. Cabana had a whole lot behind that. He had a huge runway, sprinting all the way down and catches him with that big wide open shot. And the champ is down and the champ is rocked. Hulk Cabana really enjoying the moment, living in the moment, but I don't know if that's gonna come back to bite him. He needs to stay on top of Nick Aldis. Yeah, you can't, you can't give the champion Aldis a second. And now the champion begging off perhaps this schedule. All these title defenses are catching up with the national treasure. He wants a timeout here, Joe Galley. Looking for a bit of a breather. Oh, tried to sneak the boot to the midsection. Cabana had it scouted. And now Cabana playing games with all this with a heavy right hand. Cabana showing sometimes that the best offense is a good defense. Cabana is tough to hit. He is elusive. And right now the challenger looking good, putting on a good showing. It's amazing that Cabana is even on his feet after going through that barricade on the outside moments ago. Well, it just goes to show the resiliency of Colt Boom Boom Cabana. And also the other fact that he knows what's at stake here. He wants to become a three-time NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, and he's going to leave it all out on the line in this match. Nice takedown there by the challenger into the lateral press, looking for the victory, looking to make history. History already being made with the 10 pounds of gold being defended for the first time here in China. Aldis said recently, Flair didn't do it. Race didn't do it. Briscoe didn't do it. Funk didn't do it. I'm doing it. But you got to know the champ wants to cap it off with a victory and continue this Aldis crusade. Look at that Colt Cabana now, slowing things down. And look at the mind games continue, playing with the ear of Nick Aldis. Like he's scolding a, a child. And, and now he's got a bit of a straight jacket here. And these guys, both champion and challenger, always a few moves ahead of where you think they are. Cabana working on the back there. Of course, he's got that Billy Goats curse submission that won him the title back in 2011 when he made the scrap daddy tap. But now Cabana, ooh, both these competitors in a precarious position on top of the apron, trading blows. Oh, ends in catastrophe for Nick Aldis. But he looks to, ooh. Elevator going down in a hurry, all the way down to the basement. And the champion now oh, back whoa. in control. Seesaw matchup. Oh, into the, the steal. Boy. The champion is relentless through the barricade earlier, now into the post. He is a machine. Using anything at his disposal as a weapon, as he can do so legally in this fashion, to deliver pain and punishment to Colt Cabana. And you know that the champion, Aldis, can go hardcore when need be. I mean, think of the preparation he must have gone through to take on the likes of the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer had a successful title defense against Dreamer in Dreamer's own backyard in House of Hardcore. All that's in the past. Nick Aldis is a man thinking of the future, and the future is him retaining and continuing to be the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. The only man who can have said it is Cole Cabana, whose shoulders are down, gets a two count. And right now, Joe Galley, this is the pace that favors the champion methodical where he can just make the challenger pay the price he can take the starch all that energy all that exuberance out of Cole Cabana yeah but Cole Cabana is not going to take it lying down answering back forearms to the face Cabana had some absolute wars with Adam Pearson now finds himself in one with Nick Aldis 
What does Cabana have in mind? Oh, he's countered. What a counter by Aldis. Incredible power and strength by the champion. Will it be enough into the cover? Gets a two count out of it. And right into the bear hug. Does not stop. No wasted motion, Todd. Talked about it before. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. It's like that quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you get. A boa constrictor-like offense now by the champion. Trying to take that energy out of the crowd, out of the challenger. Great technique here by Aldis. Both guys so well matched on paper. They've got high impact, power game, and they both have devastating submissions as well. The belly goat curse for the challenger, that Kingsland Cloverleaf for the champ. Yeah, 100%. It might come down to who's gonna make the first mistake, but these guys such seasoned veterans of the squared circle. We could be here all night. That chant by the Wenjo crowd trying to urge the challenger and Cabana using his assets trying to win the title but runs right into that kitchen sink knee. That knee to the midsection just sends Cabana flying. All the saying, this is it. He's looking for something big. He wants to put away Cabana in China. You don't see Aldis go up top too often. That shows what this means. With the richest prize in the game on the line, the coveted 10 pounds of gold. He's going to go high risk, and he gets cut off there by Cabana. Yeah, Cabana had it scouted, and now Aldis is in quite a predicament. Perched on top of that turnbuckle. Joe Galli, this could be bad news for both here at this point in the matchup. This is a turning point, perhaps, in this title matchup. Nick Aldis does not want to be there, trying to fight his way out. Another strong right hand, but Cabana's still there. Still holding on to that top rope. Ooh, a headbutt by Aldis. Both men fighting as if their lives depend on it because their professional lives do. Both want to be the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Huge uppercut there by Cabana that Ryu oh. and Ken from Street Fighter would be proud of. Oh, no, 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 no. Cabana, no way. Off the top. Enjoying the moment. Well, we better not waste any time here with the champion, Cabana. Superplex by Cabana. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with more action. Wow. We are the dreamers. We come in a variety of colors. And styles. A variety of sizes. We come in different patterns. And different materials. We are the dreamers. Achieving your dream can take work. I just wanted to do a career. But don't give up. Changing my life. Don't ever give up. Ignore the haters. They didn't believe that I can do it, and I just proved them that I can. Independence University. IU is an online college. Education online for a better life offline. So your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. At IU, you receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. You're going to keep that laptop and tablet when you graduate. And IU's career services work really hard to help you get a job. You've got to have dreams. Independence University. Education online for a better life offline. Call 1-800-893-1653. That's 1-800-893-1653. We're living in exciting times in the world of professional wrestling. There are tons of opportunities to live your dreams as a professional wrestler. From the worldwide leaders to independent companies like APW. If you feel you have what it takes, the time to make a move is now. The APW Training Academy will help you develop the fundamentals of professional wrestling. The All Pro Wrestling Training Center is now open for enrollment. Contact us today. Welcome back to our main event matchup from Winjo, China. Cole Cabana taking on Nick Aldis, NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. And now, Cole Cabana in the driver's seat. Hit the flying apple, that's one of his signatures. Cabana starting to play the hits and might become a three-time NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Nobody home there, but on the second one, the second effort gets the splash and gets the close call there on the champ. And the tide of this match completely chained after that superplex off the top. Cole Cabana has just been punishing the champ ever since then. 
Yeah, but that had to take a toll on Cabana as well after going through that barricade earlier in the match. Adrenaline can do wonders, as the late great Gorilla Monsoon would say, and both champion and challenger exhibiting that. Nice roll up here by Cabana. Again, he will attack you from all angles. You always have to have your head on a swivel when you're in there with Boom Boom. Well, Cabana taking down the champ there. Look how loose Cabana looks now. The challenger, Joe Galli, he's got his second win, and now it's the champ that's struggling to get something going, to get out of the blocks offensively. Well, this is Colt Cabana's wheelhouse right here. Amazing conditioning, especially for a man of his size. He can go for days, and he knows he can keep this match going. The longer this match goes, I think it favors Colt Cabana. Oh, no! Got caught! Dropped onto the top turnbuckle. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's going to take some of the conditioning out of him right there. That's going to take some of the fire out of his belly, and I don't know that anybody outworks the champion. Nick Aldis, but has he had the time oh, no, to condition no. as much with his incredible schedule? Fall away slam all the way, three quarters of the way across the ring, and now tried to capitalize into the cover, deep hook of the leg, and the champ almost put him away. I am completely amazed every time I see Nick Aldis go and fight and defend the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Just how strong and powerful he was, able to launch Colt Cabana from that middle rope. Absolute incredible power. This after that superplex. The champion finds a way, digs down deep. Incredible that he had enough power, enough left in the tank at this point in the matchup for that huge throw. And it, it didn't work out for him going up top earlier, but maybe it will this time. And the challenger cuts him off yet again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. But this could be a major miscalculation by the champ. I don't think Aldis can afford to be the recipient of another superplex. Cabana might put him away if he is, but the champ fighting his way out yet again. Oh, Cole Cabana with the vicious headbutt. My God. Joe Galli, that echoed off the walls of the Wenjo Sports Complex. An amazing shot, and Cabana showing that he's willing to do what it takes to get aggressive, to dig down deep. I love it. Richest prize in the, in the game on the line, and these two are going to war. Oh, great counter by Aldis. And now Cabana's in a bad spot as the elbow comes crashing down into the midsection. It's over. No, Cabana stays alive. And those ribs of Cabana have got to be cooked. Put some barbecue sauce on them because you saw earlier the fallaway slam. That must have rattled the ribs of Cabana. And now that elbow drop right to the midsection. Vicious by the champion, and it might be the beginning of the end. He's thinking Kings Lynn Cloverleaf, but Cabana showing what he's made of. The heart, the determination of a champion. Yeah, both of these guys such students of the game. They're going to know when those big moves are coming and try to avoid them as best they can. Gets the go behind, but look at Cabana. This is how he did it. This is how he won the title back in March of 2011. The Billy Goats curse. He made Scrap Iron Adam Pierce tap. Is he going to make the national treasure tap? Big time jeopardy for Aldis here. Could see a three-time NWA World's Heavyweight Champion right here. Aldis feeling the pain, the agony. And headbutts now by Cabana. This is a more aggressive Cabana than we've ever, than we've ever seen, Joe Galley. Well, he knows what's at stake. He knows what's on, on the line. He's been on his own crusade to right the wrong. He wants that title. He wants that title reign that he never got. He wants to travel the globe, and he's willing to do it at the expense of the current title holder. Oh, but you can see the damage has been done to that midsection, just like you were saying, Todd. Cole Cabana has to take a second, try to catch his breath, and all this able to capitalize. Beautiful single leg pick, going for the Kingsland Cloverleaf. Can he get it? Can he roll Cole Cabana over? Look at Cole Cabana grabbing at the leg. Boy, call Jeff Propes and book Cabana on Survivor because that's what he is, that survival instinct. But now into the figure four. And how historic has this submission been throughout the 70-year history of the National Wrestling Alliance? Well, 100%. Shades of the great Ric Flair. Arguably one of the most prolific NWA World's Heavyweight Champions. Arguably. But Nick Aldis wants to cement his name in history as the best to continue his crusade. And Cole Cabanas, he's center of the ring. He looks like he's starting to fade. Shoulders are going down, they're down. Could get the three count right here. Oh, but Cabana's staying in it. 
And now really wrenching down on it is the champion. Double jeopardy, as you mentioned here for Cabana, because in harm's way of the submission and the pin, if he is to pass out here, using all of his strength to turn the hold over. Both men rolling now. It's a jockey jockeying for position. Both men in the ropes. Referee's going to have to break this. Wow. What a scramble that was. Yeah. Cole Cabana able to stay alive in this matchup, but Nick Bonanno able to separate these two. But has the damage already been done, Todd? He was in that figure four for a long time. Yes, but the champion was in the Billy Goat's curse. So I'd call it a wash. I'd call it even Steven, my friend, Correct. as this match has been since the opening bell. It's, it's got the makings of a classic. As Cole Cabana now, he's heading up to the high rent district. Up to the penthouse. Well, he'll be going to the penthouse if he wins the title. Oh, the knees! Nick Aldis got the knees up! Took too much time there. Cabana trying to spend that moment with the crowd, urge the crowd. He's got to keep his eye on the prize. He can celebrate if he wins the gold, and that let that little crack in the door of opportunity open for the champion to counter, and he kicked the door down. Incredible. And look at this, Nick Aldis has just been so precise going after that midsection the entire time. Oh, crashing him into that top turnbuckle. And then some incidental contact. I thought the two might have collided there, maybe collided there with their heads. Anything at this point in the matchup. These two are so spent that anything could end this. Something devastating. Oh, but Nick Aldis is looking to end this right here. Look at this. A treacherous predicament up on the middle rope. Nick Aldis looking for maybe a belly-to-back suplex, but Cole Cabana fighting him off. Both men have shown a whole lot of heart and willpower when they get in this precarious position. Big wind-up shot and the pitch, Ooh. some high heat right across the plate. What's Cabana thinking here? Oh, no way, huge moon salt connects! If he can get to the cover, we'll have new champ! But the residual effects of, of all of the attack by Aldis. Hold on, into the cover now, history to be made! Amazing oh. counter! Incredible! Nick. Joe, Joe Galley, how about that? These guys, I'm <laughs> sorry to cut you off. I'm just excited as we look at it. Every, they threw everything but the kitchen sink. And in the end, here you see the replay brought to you by Land Rover, that huge moonsault. This was step one in how he won the title the first time, but he couldn't capitalize. And after an incredible war from bell to bell, they took each other to hell, but it came down to fundamental wrestling by the champion, went to his playbook and got the crucifix. What an amazing victory by Nick Aldis. What an absolutely spectacular edition of Championship Wrestling. We opened up the vault and we took you all the way to China. I absolutely loved reliving that historic broadcast with all of you. So we're going to keep the vault open. And same time, same place next week, we are going to bring you another classic edition of Championship Wrestling, including the debut of a team known as the Wolf Zaddy. So you won't want to miss that. And so much more coming up next week on Championship Wrestling presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. But until then, stay at home, stay safe, wash those hands, be well, be good to one another. We are all in this together, and I can't wait to bring you another action-packed episode of Championship Wrestling. See you next week, wrestling fans. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.